it's the ugly, ugly grind. Yeah. This is how we ride. Yeah. Got the bridge next time. Yeah. Run up if you want to try. Yeah. The check is where we at. Yeah. The colors where we flee. Yeah. Pulling my city up on the map. Yeah. 253. Yeah. Blow your mind up, blow it in one shot. So you're mine. Blow your mind up, blow it in one shot. So you're mine. Blow your mind up, blow it in one shot. So you're mine. Blow your mind up, blow it in one shot. From the Guam residence, brothers 29-year-old David Kitagua and 28-year-old Matthew Kitagua currently reside in Tacoma, Washington. The last time David was on island was back in 2004 and Matthew in 2001. David, who goes by YD, and Matthew, who goes by Boy, Beats on Instinct, formed the urban island music group Island Tribe. I've always been a, I mean, incorporated music, but my dad, you know, my dad's a, he's been singing ever since. He had his own band going. And uh, my mom sings a lot around the house. And, you know, I'm from choir. So, I mean, me personally, I've, I've been in corporate music for quite a while, so it was only right to start our own group, you know. Island Tribe was created back in 1996. Now, in his early stages of making music, Whitey started recording off of karaoke machines and writing to instrumentals. As for Boy, he is considered the mastermind in creating and producing Island Tribe sounds. Now, as they got older, the duo got into more complicated type sounds, perfecting their music. The brothers, indeed, are a force to be reckoned with, not only writing their own material, but also producing and recording their tracks. Now, if it is something unique you're wanting, then Island Island Tribe is definitely right up your alley. Our music is more of a it's, a, it's a, it's got a little bit of everything, a little bit of country, hip hop, reggae, uh, R&B, a little mixture of everything. We try to touch everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be, being raised right here in the states, we uh we kind of got a feel of the you know the hip hop out here, but we always we always keep it you know we always got to incorporate reggae because that's what, that's our roots. After performing together in their teens for the first time in Portland, the boys have continued to remain busy, performing up to three times a week, even on the weekends, working on albums, music videos, even opening for various artists, including fast lyric spitting rapper Twista. Recently, the brothers were added to a slew of acts set to perform at the first annual United Nessia Festival in Portland. Boy and YD are preparing to release their third album, entitled Back for Seconds, this summer. So with that being said, Alan Tribe and the Tribe Fam represents for all our Chamorro people, including the whole Sunamai and the other Mariana Islands along with Guam. First thing of all, uh, we just got a new video out on YouTube, so if everybody want to check it out, just type in Island Tribe and then blow your mind, M-Y-N-D. So if they want to check that out, and, you know, and, uh, we, got, we got Facebook, Island Tribe on Facebook, uh, you know, uh, Bunch of other, we got stuff on iTunes, fresh off the grills on iTunes, so we're trying to put the mixtape on iTunes pretty soon here, so keep everybody posted. And the Kitagua boys remain humble and appreciative of all the love and support. Yeah, I, I want to give a shout out just to everybody in Guam, and uh, especially Matic, you know, that's, that's where my family's from, and uh, I want to give a shout out to everybody who supports us out there in Guam, Saipan, Rota. Yeah, I'll see you everybody out there.